what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of the walking dead today we're going to be doing season three episode four and oh my god is this series good anyways we got introduced to a new character my the governor <laughs> the governor and pretty interesting character um you know there were some <laughs> some shaky moments there where I was where I was like okay this could never happen in real life but for <laughs> for plot reasons you know what I'm saying um it happened you know what I'm saying first of all um I could never see soldiers getting ambushed like that in no way possible I get it you know what I'm saying? Like in some ways you could say it could it, it is a possibility that it could work, but in other ways I just don't see how soldiers would have never seen no uh, nobody approaching from the side or anything like that. They were on alert, so how could they if they're soldiers, they're supposed to be watching their surroundings at all times. That's what they're trained to do. So they must have seen something. You know what I'm saying? Like so in I don't think that would happen in real life, but for plot reasons, I get why it had to be shot like that um, and seem like the way it seems. So to get the vehicles and all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like they they had to take them out. It was wrong in every way possible. What they did was wrong, but you kind of get the idea of how this guy, the governor, operates. There's still some under some underlining things that are there that we still need to figure out and to see what's going on but andrea she's so she's way too trusting at first and that's why i think you guys said um me michone i think that's her name michone i'm gonna say it's michone if it's the if it's if i hear andrea is gonna say her name again and i'm gonna pick up how she says it and then we'll know exactly what she's talking about okay so she knows where a gun where the gun and the freaking samurai sword is <laughs> that she has. She knows the katana. She knows where it is. So, um, but it's interesting. The camp is interesting. They know exactly what's going on. The guys that go with it, go with them. They know what's going on, but they're not saying anything because I don't know why they're so afraid of this dude. Because I'm surprised that nobody has really said anything to him. To be you know what i'm saying because they're all over there acting like they live in normal and stuff when they're basically under the guise of living under a dictator really so that's pretty much all that happened in the last um that happened in the episode was it was just about them you know we never saw any of the other main characters it was just you know what's happening on andrea's side which i said that i don't wish her to be out of the show the show needs somebody like andrea is you know what i'm saying need her she's coming from way back from season one so i don't think they're gonna off screen somebody like like andrea you know what i'm saying so um so let's go jump into this and see what more they have to offer going into this um episode four here for season three and then we'll be right back here for the review make sure you like the video leave something in the comment section man let's go get it let's go watch this man and let's go get some more of this crazy ass series right here I'll see you guys right back here for the review. <sighs> okay. That was definitely one of the toughest episodes that I've had to watch of The Walking Dead for sure. Very sad. Very sad. We lost two of the main characters you know and i was just saying I, when was it again i don't even remember i was just saying that t-dog needs to get more shine in the show you know more dialogue really and then we lose him in this episode and he went out like a g man saving carol we haven't seen carol return though where the hell is she um she uh, hopefully she got out safe um they found t-dog um but Lori, I didn't, I, I didn't want her to die like that. You know what I'm saying? Like we understand that, you know, that's why Carol was practicing, and we thought, oh, this is all gonna go good, man. And then, yo, 
And then Carl was the one that shot her. Oh, man. Bro, that was brutal. That was brutal. That was brutal. Man, I almost full on started crying, man, because I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even talk. I knew if I started talking, I was going to start crying and <laughs> try to keep quiet. Ah, man, that was, I would say that was one of the, one of the best episodes. I mean, um, one of the best episodes of The Walking Dead, um, I, I mean, if not the best that I've watched, to be honest, um, this other episode with, you know, when we found out Sophia was a walker, like that episode was definitely up there. I'm still like, it's hard, hard for me to, I'm trying to talk, but you know. Trying to get my thoughts together, but I just keep seeing that image in my mind of, you know, of, of when they're pulling the baby out of her and how she was screaming, you know what I'm saying? And then the, then the damn baby took forever. It's like, this baby better survive because it's going to even be even more sad if the baby doesn't survive. You know what I'm saying? If the baby didn't survive, I would have definitely cried out the the tears would have been flowing the tears would have been flowing if 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 the baby didn't survive like that kind of put me a little bit at ease because at least we're not losing the baby along with her you know what i'm saying <sighs> i felt that one in my bones man that that one hurt you know, I think it's one of the more immersive episodes that I've watched of The Walking Dead. Like, I felt like I was there. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I was there. It's a great episode, man. Well shot, everything about it. That dude, man, he's such an asshole. Came back and he even say, let, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we can take the prison. We can take him. We can, we can take this. Uh, this is our home. You know what I'm saying? How the hell did he survive? How did he survive? Can somebody tell me how he survived those walkers out when he got locked out? <sighs> Anyways, man. Could have gotten so many other people killed. It's unexpected. And then we have Andrea. You know, just won't get out of the damn place. Uh, Merle, he wants to go look for Daryl, which I want him to go do. Because... That place is like, it's a sanctuary, but it's also a prison, to be honest. I mean, that's, I, I guess that's what they were going for. They say, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, you know, they're actually in a prison, but they have freedom. But those over there that think they have freedom are actually kind of in a prison. You know what I'm saying? So, great stuff. Anyways, man, thank you guys for checking um, the reaction. Now, I don't have any much more to say. Um, just thank you guys so much for checking this out. This is really sad, and m my heart is still beating 100 miles an hour right now. So it's just the feeling, and just ah oh, man, this was a it was a heavy episode, man. Heavy, heavy episode. Thank you guys so much for checking my reaction out, man. Just leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section, and also, man, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.